Okay, now it is time for us to do our spider activity. So you have a spider paper like this, and then you have a packet of six labels, okay? So grab your packet of labels and spread them out so that you can see them. Count them to make sure you've got them all. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now we're going to talk about the parts of the spider again, like we did in the book. And you are, I'm going to show you the word. You're going to find it and you're going to glue it to the box. Okay, so get your glue stick, get your paper laid out, get your labels. If you need another minute to get all of that together, push pause on the video and then come back when you're ready. Okay, so we're going to start here at the front of the spider. Okay, so right up here by the mouth is the pedipalps. Remember we talked about that in the book? Okay, so these pedipalps are feelers that help the spider know what to do with, oops, that's not what I meant. These are feelers that help the spider know what is in, right in front of it, right? And feel its food and what's going on, okay? So I'm gonna put my glue down on that box and then I'm gonna find this paper, the one that starts with a P. Do you see the P? Petty palps. So it has a P at the beginning and an S at the end. Find the paper that looks like this. Okay, and then you're going to glue that down here on the box. It's okay if it's not perfectly straight. Now we're going to go around our spider. Okay, and it is pointing now to this part. Okay, this is the part that is the combination of the head and the main part of the body, right, the thorax. And so this one, it's combined like this in one segment, is called the cephalothorax. Remember we talked about that with the book. So the cephalothorax is a funny word, okay? Cephal, or cephal, means head, okay? And it actually starts with a C. This is one of the few times when C makes the S sound. Okay, so find this word that starts with a C and ends with an X, cephalothorax. And now we're going to put down our glue and stick it down. Mine didn't stick straight, but that's okay. I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay, then behind the cephalothorax is the abdomen. Can you find the word that starts with the letter A? Does this one start with A? Nope. Does this one start with A? Nope. Does this one start with A? Nope. Does this one start with A? It does. This one is the abdomen. That's what that word says. Okay, abdomen. So find your paper that looks like that. Put your glue down and stick it down. Okay, this back section is the abdomen. Now at the very back of the spider is the part where the web comes out and that part is called a spinneret. A spinneret, it starts with the letter S. So find the paper that starts with the S. It looks like this. Okay, find this paper. Put your glue down and then stick the paper to it. Good. Now, what is this box pointing to, these arrows? What are these right here? Those are the legs. Remember, a spider has how many legs? Eight. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight legs. Okay, I am going to put my glue down. I'm going to take my legs label. It starts with an L. Okay, 
a lowercase L and then I stick it in that spot. Find that piece. Okay, if I got ahead of you and you are behind me, just pause the video. You can even rewind and to go back to the ones that you haven't done yet, okay? All right, this last box here and our last label go together. This one says, what do you think that is? Eyes. This word says eyes. And these are the eyes. How many eyes does the spider have? The spider has eight eyes, most spiders at least. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and I put my glue down. I'm gonna put a little bit more glue down in case it dried up a little bit. And I'm gonna put down the paper that says eyes. Okay, we have done our whole labeling paper. It is all done. Now we're gonna get started on our spider model. I'm gonna bring onto my paper in front of me my two cup egg carton that was in my packet, okay? So one, two cups. And then I have a little short black um, <clears throat> piece of pipe cleaner. And then you're gonna have four black or brown pipe cleaners. You really, if you were gonna do this on your own, you could use whatever colors you wanted to. But I had lots of black and brown, and those are pretty typical spider colors. So that's what you got from me. Okay, so I've got my pipe cleaners, and I've got my egg carton. And we are going to make our spider. Okay, so which of these cups do you think is the cephalothorax, and which one is the abdomen? So this one right here that has all the holes in it is the cephalothorax, and this one back here is the abdomen, okay? In a spider, all of the legs are attached to the cephalothorax, okay? They're not attached to the abdomen. In the insect that we did the other day, the legs are attached to the thorax. So basically it's the same, but since the head and thorax are are the same piece, they're connected to that head thorax piece called cephalothorax, okay? We're gonna do this the same way we did the insects though, okay? I'm gonna take my short piece and I'm gonna put it here in the front. Now, spiders don't usually have antennas. What they have is pedipalps, okay? So you see, I've got two holes here that are marked with a P, okay? So that's where I'm gonna put my pedipalps, so, but I'm gonna fold this just like I did with the antenna on the insect, okay? So I'm gonna fold that, and I'm going to put it through, okay, so I can see it on the inside of my cup, okay. Then I'm going to fold these over and loop them through the opposite hole and do the same thing on the other side, okay. They're not going to stick out super far, so I mine is getting a little tricky to get pushed out. If you need help, ask your big person to help you, okay? But try to do it yourself, be persistent, okay? All right, and then they are just little short, okay? But these are our petty pops that <clears throat> Now, we're gonna take one of our long pipe cleaners, all right? And just like yesterday, you're gonna go in through hole number one and out through hole number two. Okay, I find it easier though than trying to look at it this way to, to do it from the inside. So in through hole number one. Oops, I got mixed up. Let's see, fine. Okay, so I'm gonna put in hole number one. I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna go to the very first hole over here and double check and make sure it's two, it is. So I pull it through, okay? And then I fold it up if they're about the same length, okay? Then I take this and I loop it through. So I come back around to the hole that it came out of or went into and I push it through. Okay. 
Remember, be gentle and be persistent, okay? As you push it through, it kind of curves the leg into your spider leg, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing on the number two side, okay? Pushing it through gently. You don't wanna pull hard when it gets to the paper or it'll rip the paper, okay? But now I have two of my legs, okay? Okay, then I'm gonna repeat it with my next pipe cleaner. I'm gonna go into hole three and come across and find the hole right next to the one I just did, okay? And that should be hole four, and it is. Okay, so I went in through hole three and out through hole four, and I pull it okay, across, and I get my my first set of legs is kind of getting in the way, so I'm just gonna kind of bend them over this way. I can bend them back when it's time if I want to. Okay, so and then I fold it up and kind of slide it around till they're about the same height. Okay, then I feed this end through the hole that it went through. Okay, through the hole in its side. All right, push and loop it through. Okay, I can pull this way too, but I have to be careful. It can catch on the pipe cleaner that's next to it, and it can also rip the paper if so. It, as it gets into a small loop, I kind of am more careful. All right, and then I loop it on this side, feed it around, find that opening. Okay, even if the opening seems really small, because most of that is kind of fuzz, most of what's taking up space is fuzz that moves easily, you can usually just kind of push it through the fuzz. Um, if you hit the wire, just kind of wiggle it a little. All right, and now I've got one, two, three, four legs. So I keep going, okay? So I've gone through hole one, hole two, hole three, hole four. So now I'm gonna go through hole five, okay? And poke it out, hole six, okay? Okay. You can do it from the outside, you can do it from the inside, whatever works for you, but you want it to look like this. Okay, and fold it up. Make sure they're about the same length. I'm adjusting mine because it was a little, this side's a little bit longer, see, so I'm gonna pull this down, okay? And then loop it through. Now, mine broke, which is why I kept this one. So on this side, see how it's actually ripped? Okay, I could put some tape there to fix it. You could ask a big person if your paper rips um, to put some tape on it, but I'm not even gonna worry about it. I'm just going to really do my loop here gently so that it stays where it belongs even though it, the paper is ripped. Okay, and I just kind of fold that, squeeze it with my fingers. That one's done. Loop it through. And then I'm gonna do my last one. Okay, I'm gonna go in through hole seven, turn it over, push it through that last hole, check, make sure that's hole eight, it is. All right, then lift it up, get them even, okay. And then loop through the hole. Okay, I might be going faster than you are, and that's okay. You can pause and catch up with me as you need to, okay? If you are being persistent and then you're just really getting frustrated, ask for a big person to help you, okay? But keep trying. This takes a little bit of work to get the hang of, but you can do it, okay? All right, now I'm just kind of curling my spider legs. Okay, you can do your spider head legs however you want. Okay, I'm spreading them out so that these back ones are moving towards the back. Okay, I'm gonna make some of them bounce up a little higher so that they can all hit the ground at the same level. So, I just kinda wanna bend them around till 
they are hitting in about the same spot and your spider will stand. And look at that. There is my finished spider, okay? Now there is one part that we labeled. Well, there's a couple of parts that we labeled that aren't here yet, okay? So the spinnerets at the back, I did not poke holes for us to do a pipe cleaner through there, okay? But you can draw the spinnerets right here on the back side, okay? And then the other part that we don't have yet is the eyes. So remember that spiders have eight eyes here above their um, petty pouts, okay? Um, usually in two rows of four. So you can do draw them however you want. You can get a marker, a crayon, a colored pencil. What I have right now is just a regular pencil. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that. And I'm gonna do kind of four little ones right here okay and then i'm gonna do kind of a bigger eye a medium size eye over here and a medium size eye over here and then i'm gonna do kind of bigger eyes right here and the shape and texture of this is a little funny so it's a little harder to draw on might actually be easier with a marker, but you do it however you want. Just be persistent, okay? I'm just kind of, I'm just sketching around to get the shape I want, okay? And drawing my eyes, okay? So now my spider has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eyes, and eight legs, and two petty pops, and some spinnerets at the back. Okay, now my spider is having trouble, trouble standing. Okay, so sometimes what I will do, if your spider is having trouble standing, is bend the very bottom of each leg out a little to make a foot. So I am gonna bend the feet on my spider and then they stand a little bit better. Okay, all right, then you can go on and decorate it however you want. You can add whatever you would like to your spider Okay, and then when you're finished, send me a picture. I would love to see your work. Have a great day, my friends.